Hey guys, it's Arcade and I'm back with another tutorial. Today I'm going to show you how to mix kick with a sub bass so they sound good in the mix and there is no rumble and they don't overlap with each other. So in the previous tutorial we made this sub bass and if you want to learn how to do that check out the tutorial before this one and today we're going to add a kick to the sub bass and just and I'm going to show you how to mix them to the, together. So yeah, let's choose a kick first. Yeah, this one sounds good. And what we want to do with the kick is that it should follow the bass note. So let's put each kick where each bass note starts. So yeah, now we have the kick and the bass. And it doesn't sound as good as it could because there's a lot of low frequencies in the kick and there's a lot of low frequencies in the bass obviously so at the moment they kind of overlap with each other and we don't want that so let's actually add a snare as well just so we have a full beat going here so it doesn't sound bad but in the mix with all the other sounds it will uh, just ruin your mix there will be a lot of rumble in the low frequencies and this is how we fix that so select the kick and put it on track one and then select the bass and put it on track two and now go to mixer so now we have the kick and the bass on separate tracks kick is number one so select that one and go under track 2 which is the bass and right click this button here and select sign chain to this track so now the kick is going to control the bass so go to the second mixer track which is the bass and put a limiter, a 3D limiter on it change it to compressor here so choose compressor and you see here sign chain it says sign chain select one which is the kick basically insert one this is insert one so when you selected that just move these two threshold and ratio and every time the kick will hit it will lower the volume of the bass so let's see now So we can go into the extreme, which is not good, or we can just do like a subtle one. So let's just hear, hear it with the kick, uh, with the limiter and without the limiter. So this is without it. So the bass obviously is kind of lower in the volume now because the every time the kick hits it lowers the volume of the bass. But that's a good thing because if it wasn't there would be a lot of rumble. Another thing we can do is add EQ on the bass. So I feel like it's a bit too overwhelming. So let's just... adjust it like this I lowered it in the 144 frequencies and yeah that just sounds better this way is like really loud overpowering this way it's more subtle and that's what you want to do is a lot of people like to like boost the EQ frequencies and shit but what you actually want to do is lower them just make the sounds more subtle and it will sound, everything will sound better in the mix at the end. So let's adjust it. And basically we are done here. So that's how you mix kick with a bass. We did a little bit of EQing and the main thing is the sidechain compression. And here's like a little song you might recognize. Yeah. 
Okay, so yeah, that's this tutorial. Hopefully it was helpful and look forward to more tutorials. Thank you for watching and goodbye.